Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Gemini. Gemini, hey Gemini placements, how are you? If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back, baby. So Gemini, how y'all being, babies? How y'all being, how y'all being? Okay, so what we get ready to do is um, we're going to go into the Ancestor Spirit Oracle. We're going to do a one-card pool. Then we're going to jump right into love. The messages are short, just like they were last week. Okay, so let's get started. If y'all ready, and that's my heater in the back. If you hear a little noise, I am cold today. I don't know why I'm so cold. I got a blanket on my legs. <laughs> I got my heater going. And it, uh, I don't know, it's been raining. So it might not, I haven't been outside. It might not be as warm. And maybe that's why the house feels extra cool than it normally would. But I haven't touched it, so it's really the same as it always is. But I'm cold, so that noise you hear is my heater. Okay, so let's get some clear, honest messages. Spirit guides, ancestors, great divine, can I please have clear, honest messages on behalf of the Gemini placements? What is it that Gemini needs to know at this time? Clear, honest messages on behalf of Gemini placements. What is it that Gemini needs to know at this time? I thank you, Ashe. I'm going to turn the camera ever so slightly. How's that? That's pretty good. That's good. Okay, Spirit, what you got for Gemini? One card. What's, what is the spiritual message for Gemini that they need to keep in mind? Lord, I got cards flying everywhere. This deck is still new, so it's kind of very, you see how it looks, it's very stiff. So trying to <laughs> get one card. It's like I have like three or four of them keep falling. Spirit, let me just get one, please. What is it the Gemini needs to? See? That's like five or six right there. What is it the Gemini needs to know today? And Gemini, I did watch y'all's reading yesterday, but because I watched so many of y'all's reading just today to see what they was about. I don't remember. So let me go back and let's see. Y'all's reading was about, oh, this person, that's right. Somebody tried to manipulate a choice you had between two, but they had their own third parties or something in the background. They had some people they was talking to in the background but was trying to, trying to control your choice. Going with the one that was upright. Y'all's card is tune in and connect. Nonverbal communication, intuition, and messages. And there it is. Tune in and connect. You see how, look at there. See the face in the sky? That's pretty cool. All right, let's get into it. And this is what it says. This is the ancestor speak message. It says, there has been so much noise and busy energy around you that you haven't been able to stop and listen to what the universe is trying to tell you. Quiet, quiet, quiet your mind and find a peaceful space that you can visit. You need to meditate or be still for just a few minutes each day and you will feel more connected to your loved ones regardless of distance. You will also be more receptive to the signals, signals and messages spoken or otherwise. Now, this is the uh, divination meaning. Listen to your gut instincts and don't doubt what you are feeling. Often the first thing you feel, hear, or sense about something ends up being right. So go with that first thought, that first feeling, like uh, something don't seem right. Go with that. That's normally your intuition. Okay. Still, it can take courage to listen to your intuition and trust your heart instead of being led by other people's opinions. Be open to a family member or friend and the message they are trying to communicate to you. It's time to connect with someone. So, <clears throat> first of all, Spirit is saying, when it comes to them, go with your first thought, okay? 
That is always your intuition. That first thought, that first feeling, that first thing we hear, that's it. If I used to, what I used to would do, me and my friend, what we would do is, whenever we would be like, um, should I, you know, if we found ourselves saying, um, about anything, we knew that we was about to mess up intuition. You find yourself going, I don't know. I don't know. Or, um, um that's normally your intuition. <laughs> don't ignore that. Do not ignore that. Okay. And then it says, it can take courage to listen to your intuition and trust your heart instead of being led by other people's opinions. Sometimes our intuition will definitely differ than what other people say. Other people will be like, are you crazy? Why would you do that? But your intuition could be screaming loud and clear. Hey, walk this way. This is why I always say it is so important. And this is why you're yeah, also saying it's so important to tune in and connect with your spiritual team. I tell y'all that every week. Y'all need to get a relationship with the great divine and you need to tune in to your spiritual team. You need to take time every day to talk to them every day. I talk to my team in sometimes two or three times a day and God forbid I'm going through something. I might talk to them all day. Hey y'all, wait a minute. I need to talk to y'all again. Hold on. Wait a minute. I need to talk to y'all. I lean in on my team because they can help you with any area of your life, but you got to give them permission to help. I personally do what they say. I don't go against it. I used to. I used to be hard-headed. I used to then listen to my intuition. Very hard-headed. Got myself into a lot of trouble too doing that. Now, I have just submitted to God's will and <laughs> submitted to my spirit team that they got my best interest at heart. They have never led me astray. They have never left me or forsaken me. And when times get hard, they're the ones who have my back like no other. So, because of that, I spend time with my team. I am so grateful to them. I, I If I could, I don't want to get into it because, honey, I start crying. When I think about how good my, God has been to me and my spiritual team has been to me, I will cry. I can cry every time I think about how good they have been to me. The love, the, the, the level of love is unexplainable. And people who don't, who are not connected, they will never get it. But this is why I'm telling you to develop it. And some people are like, well, how does God talk? In the most subtlest of ways. There are times they talk to you through signs, synchronicities, and omens. But if you don't take the time to slow down, talk to them. They give you confirmation all the time that they heard your prayers. Like one time, like before I started YouTube, before I had even told anybody it was an idea, I had prayed about it. Then I was out on, I'm a mail carrier, so I was out on my route. And one of my customers came up to me and gave me confirmation. Now, he didn't know nothing I had prayed to God about. And God can use anybody that, that he wants to. But this person was very religious. I'm very spiritual. But this person really cares about what God thinks and honors God. So God used this person who was of another race, way older than me, I had never met before in my life, gave me confirmation of the prayer that I had had just the night before. Hey, this is something you need to do. You know what would be really great for you? And it was everything that I had prayed to God about. God used somebody else to give me confirmation. And so in my, I'm some, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes, they get, like I said, it could be signs, synchronicities, or omens. So you got to start paying attention to patterns. You need to start paying attention to numbers. You, are you seeing triple sevens? Are you seeing a lot of five, five, fives? Yep. Y'all know this. It could be that you keep seeing, like I was followed by cardinals for a minute there. Like a pair of cardinals everywhere I went. There was like two of them following me everywhere. And then one day I looked up and it was a field of 15 of them, 10 to 15 cardinals, all red. I had never seen that. I've seen a field of black birds, but I ain't never seen a field full of, full of uh, red birds. Or there was a time when I was about to be leveled up. Um, I was getting ready to go through, uh, uh, because spirit always asks you, do, are you ready to go to another level? So I was getting ready to go to another level. And in my work truck, it's a digital dashboard. And I don't give a dime if don't nobody to this day believes what I say. I have had some interesting experiences with spirit. Where the numbers, you know, if you got a digital uh, dash, right? And where the odometer is and tell you how fast you're going. I kid you not. I had a dream that said red pill, blue pill, right? The night before. And it was kind of reminding me of, well, yeah, reminded me of the Matrix. Red pill, blue pill. And then I woke up. And I looked it up. And I was like, that reminded me of the Matrix. And I looked up, what did the red pill mean? What did the blue pill mean? One was like, hey, do you want to know more? Do you want to stay at the level you at? Are you ready? If you're ready to go down deeper into the rabbit hole, we'll take you there. 
and right <laughs> the night before, then I'm in my work truck. I kid you not, Gemini, kid you not, across the dash. I, I stopped to make my next um, delivery. It literally said, follow me. And before I could get my camera out to take a picture, it was gone just like that. And I remember going to work. I said, hey, does anybody had this message pop up on their screen? They thought I was a nutcase. Girl, there you go. There you go. And I'm just thinking to myself, okay, all right, that is different. I mean, I got lots of stories where it's just been some weird Weird, weird situations that is unique to me that nobody else has experienced. And they might think that I'm lying and I don't give a damn if don't nobody on the face of this earth believe me. I know what I have been through and I know what I have experienced. And so this is why you need to get with your spiritual team. So when weird stuff like that get to happening, you can lean in and then they'll confirm for you. Yes, this is us. We heard you. They will give you messages in all kinds of ways. That's why you need to pay attention to what you hear, how you feel, what, what's the first thing you think of. But Spirit is also telling y'all, don't necessarily always go off of other people's opinions or what they think you should do. Do what your spiritual team tells you to do. It will never fail. I have been forsaken and <laughs> betrayed by so many people in my life that I will never put all my eggs in a human being's basket ever again in life. Not never, not never. I will probably always lean into God. So if God tells me, hey, and my spirit team say, hey, this is a trustworthy person, then I might start giving them a little bit of trust. But I never, ever, ever, ever think that somebody is not um, beyond hurting me. The people who lie to you the most are the people you let closest to you. Sometimes it's family. Sometimes it's a spouse. Sometimes it's your kids. Sometimes for some of y'all, it's your parents. Sometimes those be the people who forsake you. But spirit wants you to be open to somebody. And because um, and the message that they're trying to communicate to you. So spirit is saying for some of y'all, it's time for y'all to get a friend. It's time for y'all to open up to somebody. Because like if you like me, I'm like this with spirit. <laughs> I feel like we a threefold core, honey. I got God Almighty, my spirit team, and me. And this is not an easily to be broken cord. It just ain't. Even when I have tried to go down other pathions and I try to get into other things, it's just, I'm telling y'all, I never, never let go of God's hand. And I used to question, am I on the side of right things? God, are you mad at me? You know, mm, what I already got myself into? Are you thinking I didn't join the other team? And God used to be like, I see you. Are you mad at me? Mm -mm. Provided I didn't do nothing. I never went left hand. I never did left hand. Left hand means when you start getting into that black magic and you start doing stuff to hurt and harm people. I never did do that. And I think that's why God has blessed me so abundantly because I kept my faith despite trying to go find my way, my pathway. I still stayed somewhat righteous. And my actions and my thought patterns, and I still honored God, and I still believed that I had such a, a strong faith, and it has carried me. But now, for some of y'all, it's time to tune in, connect to spirit, and God is getting ready to send you a new friend, <laughs> Gemini. So, in order for you to, to check with your spirit team, though, to make sure that this is the right friend, don't just go out here willy-nilly and just trust in anybody. When this person comes, still take them spirit. Hey, is this the right one? They're going to give you clues to let you know yes baby this is who we sent to you okay all right Gemini let's move on now I went on and on because I was telling y'all my story but normally this message would have been done okay so y'all they decided to go back to the uh, modern love tarot is what we going into today okay so let's see what's going on with you and your person Gemini Spirit team, spirit guides, ancestors, great divine, can I please get five cards? Well, what is going on with Gemini and they person? What's going on with Gemini and they person? What's going on? What's going on with Gemini and they person, spirit? Yeah, if y'all watch the channel, every now and then I'll bust out with a story or something weird that's been happening to me. 
shoot i just told somebody about the collective the other day about some npcs if you don't know what an npc is look it up look it up i tell you all the time especially if you watch your sign reading with me you should be watching the collective readings they do resonate or sometimes there's a lesson in there i try to ask god to make sure that you know that we give y'all something that you could take away from every message you know sometimes they don't resonate but you could learn something you just never know <sighs> okay spirit what you got for gemini five cards please Now it got warm. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> Lord, I hope I ain't flashing y'all my butt. <laughs> I'm trying to lean over. Lord, I'm about to watch it back. Make sure my butt, my dress didn't go up. But wait, y'all had somebody with that choice last week. So maybe this is right on the money. I might be picking up on them same people from last week. I don't know. We about to see. So somebody's in the four of cups. Y'all got four of cups upright, two of swords upright, nine of swords upright, the star reverse, and the three of swords. Somebody is stressed out about a third party situation. Somebody's feeling hopeless. Y'all are at a stalemate with your person and somebody has closed themselves completely off. So somebody is in a lot of, there's a lot of heartbreak and despair here due to a third party situation. And due to that third party situation, somebody has zero hope, zero hope, zero hope. Somebody is lost, dazed, and confused. Look at this nine of swords. You see her face? Just like, I don't know what to do. Like they are hurt. Y'all, you and your person have turned y'all's back on each other. Y'all might be messaging other people, but y'all ain't talking to one another. And <laughs> somebody is not happy. Closed off. So while other people, you can go around other people that are happy, but you really all up in your head. Somebody, Gemini, you or your person, somebody's all up in their head, even when they're around other people, trying to act like they cool. They really not. They really not. Well, let's see how we got here, shall we? Mm. And at the bottom of the deck, y'all would have the two of, cup, two of cups. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what is going on with y'all? Y'all two of cups reversed with the nine, what is that, seven, nine of wands. So y'all done broke up and somebody got their guard high up. And y'all been talking crap to each other. Six of cups, y'all is in reverse. Ain't no happy situation. Queen of cups, ain't nobody pouring out love. What the hell going on with y'all? That's a lot. That's a lot. It's a lot. Woo, child. Energy in here is definitely shifted. It's just shifted. My back is getting heavy. What's going on, Spirit? Clarify this four of cups. That's too many. Come on. What's going on with this four of cups? Clarify the four of cups, Spirit. What is going on for Gemini and their person in the four of cups? Why is somebody closed off? What's going on here? Mmm. Oh, Lord. Yeah, same card came out. So I was supposed to pick these, these two. I put it back and it came out anyway. So somebody is closed off. Why are they closed off? Because somebody did not have any self-control with the strength <laughs> reverse, empress reverse, and the three of wands. Somebody didn't have no self-control and they sabotaged the connection. They sabotage something and try to dry something up. So what another person has closed themselves off due to sabotage. Somebody tried to control something. So somebody did not have any self-restraint and they sabotage the connection. And because they sabotage it, now the connection is dried up with the Empress. All because somebody could not contain themselves. Mm. All right, so why are they why are they at a stalemate? What's going on? Well, that's part of why you at a stalemate because somebody sabotaged. They tried to 
They didn't have no self-control and sabotage and try to manipulate a situation. The Hermit Reverse. Oh, Lord God. The world. Ooh, that's too many spirit. Let me get just one more. Y'all are at a stalemate, Gemini. Because listen, while somebody's wanted to connect, somebody did not want to be single. They wanted to be in this relationship. But due to some sort of deceptive, manipulative, sabotaging type behavior, that is why something came to an end and somebody's walls went way up. So y'all are at a stalemate with your person because somebody sabotaged it. They was doing something. What did you do? Because when you did this, you really want to be attached. But because of these actions, y'all now have come to an ending with the world. And somebody's guard, they wall went straight up. Hmm, Gemini, who done pissed y'all off? This says sabotage the connection. All right, somebody is very stressed out. It feels like love is burning. You see the love letters on fire? Say love right here. Somebody feels like, oh, they, they, they set their own shit on fire. And that's got them stressed out. Clarify the nine of swords. It's like somebody broke their own heart. It's the feeling that I'm getting. They set their own shit on fire. Damn. All right. Yeah, that's the that's the realization somebody has come to with the hangman reverse. That this connection that they wanted so badly, they did not want to be single. They really wanted to be connected. They realized that they ended. They did this. Somebody has come to the realization that they're the reason why they're in the Two of Cups reverse. And it was because they could not release some sort of toxic ways. I think that they didn't release some toxic ways. Clarify the devil reverse. Clarify this devil reverse real quick, please, spirit. Yeah, somebody could not. Somebody could not do it. Somebody couldn't release toxic ways. They quickly went towards something very passionately and it fucked up a ten of pinnacle situation. <laughs> Who? Why? Why would you do this? Why would you do this to yourself? Somebody was in a ten of pinnacles. This is happy family. You was going to have money. This is legacy. Well, somebody was headed straight to it, but they quickly lost control of themselves. They'd had no, they didn't, they could, I'm telling you, even though the devil is in reverse, because everything here is negative, I can't take it like they just could not let something go. So because they could not let something go, they have quickly, very passionately ruined their own situation. King of Wands. Now, a King of Wands can be good sometimes. Not in this case. Not in this case. Somebody went and did something with a lot of passion and heat behind it. Clarify this King of Wands and then I'm going to move on. Clarify that King of Wands for me. Please, Spirit. Please clarify the King of Wands over it. Somebody, I told you. Somebody has to come back because they sat here and did something very heartless that they now have to apologize for. I told you somebody went and did something with a lot of passion. You set your own shit on fire. You did. You did something deceptive, very heartless, very um, deceptive, and you tried to be, deceive somebody. So because you deceived somebody with this queen of swords in reverse, now you got to come back and apologize after trying to manipulate a situation. Now you want to try to come back and apologize and fix it. And somebody's like, hell to the nah, get away from me. Seven. So now somebody feels like they have to protect themselves from you. 
situation is hopeless somebody hopes that somebody will forgive them and <laughs> resurrect the situation because they feel like this is their nine of cups they feel like you gemini are their nine of cups you are their personal wish fulfillment being with you is a personal wish fulfillment this will make them so happy see how happy she is some about you makes them happy and so they're hoping that you will forgive them that you will extend your hand and have mercy on them and that you will not leave them out in the cold. That you will still take care of them with the Queen of Pentacles. So somebody's hoping you will extend mercy, Gemini, and that you will still take care of them. But they're, they're not, they don't got a lot of hope that you will. But that's what they're hoping, that you will still extend mercy and help them. Because the Queen of Pentacles looks out. So somebody's hoping that you'll still look out for them after whatever they did to you. Three of Swords. Somebody is in heartbreak and despair and there's third parties here. So let's see what's going on here. What is going on here? This is sad. All right, let's get it. What's going on with this Three of Swords, Spirit? Clarify the Three of Swords, please. Clarify the Three of Swords, please. See, last week, somebody tried to control some stuff, and y'all was pissed off last week. Looks like y'all still pissed off. So, yeah, somebody is upset and in heartbreak and despair because somebody does have third parties. Somebody got a lot of options with the Seven of Cups. Somebody got a lot of people to choose from. Somebody's going to get a lot of attention, and they sitting there like, hmm cup do I take? Which one do I want? Everybody's offering something different. There's people of every race on here all with something different in their cup. And all these, so somebody has a lot of different options to choose from when it comes to choosing someone to commit to. Gemini, maybe it's you. You got a lot of options to choose from. You got, somebody here got some options. Third parties is here. Somebody, it's either you, Gemini, or your person. One of y'all got third parties. Lots of options that you could choose any of them to commit to. Any of them to pay, to, all of them are giving you attention. Now, this is the Six of Wands. Now, granted, he's a, in a, uh, he's handicapped here. But normally on Six of Wands, everybody is, I thought I seen some, kid you not. <laughs> thought I seen a collection of lights. I told y'all, weird, 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 ignore me. Anyway, normally on the Six of Wands, somebody is being put up on a pedestal, right? Uh, when I say put up on a pedestal, somebody sent me a comment, speaking of which, it was in Cancer's reading. I don't put no man up on no pedestal. Honey, ain't nobody trying to tell you to put nobody up on no pedestal. All I'm trying to tell you is somebody paying you attention. Lots of people are putting, giving you attention. You're the one riding high right now, and everybody else is paying you attention. Somebody here is getting a lot of attention. So they got a lot of options, giving them attention, and they can commit to any of them. But because of that, somebody, Gemini, it's either you, it's looking like it's you, because they got all these options, you didn't close your damn self off. Like, hell no. Also, somebody here was manipulative. So somebody has manipulated a situation. They got options. And because they got options, somebody didn't close their self off. Now let's see why they didn't close their self off. Clarify the four pinnacles. Four of Pentacles is somebody feels like, listen, they close themselves off because they don't think that the, but with this person in particular, Gemini, you don't think that this is somebody you can connect to. You think that there is nothing that can, you don't think that you can get this off the ground. Mm -mm. You want to release the burden of this person. You don't think that this is something you can get off the ground. 
even though the Knight of Pentacles is here. It's very slow to get off the ground. With the Page of Wands upright, Knight of Pentacles upright, but the Four of Wands is in reverse, and so is the Ten of Wands. So it's like, yeah, I don't think that this is a commitment that will ever do what it needs to do. It's not going to get off the ground. It's moving real slow, and this is just a burden I need to release. This is why you're holding back from this connection. Oh, Lord. Spirit, let me get five more cards out here. I am put back the clarifiers, y'all, so let me... Get five more cards and see where we're going. All right, Spirit, five more cards. Where are we going with this? So, oh boy. Y'all got the page of wands upright, the five of wands upright, the three of pentacles upright, the eight of wands upright, the knight of cups upright, and the three of cups in reverse. It's like one of y'all wants to come in the one that's closed off and holding themselves back they want to come in like a knight in shining armor they want to offer love but to you and to communicate to you that they still hope that you will extend mercy to them with this eight of wands so gemini this person even though they feel very hopeless about the situation they want to come in and communicate to to you that they hope that you will still look out for them that you'll have mercy on them and that you understand that you are their nine of cups. You are all they want. You are all they want, Gemini. And they hope that you will listen to them. They quickly want to travel towards you and communicate to you that you're all I want, Gemini. You know, I really do want to grow with you. I want a partnership with you, uh, with the three of pentacles. I know that you have released me, but I promise you all I want to do is grow with you, Gemini. And they are upset with themselves because now your wall is up and that they have somehow set it off. They set off this chaos, this conflict due to them having all these other options and putting you in competition. So they know that they set it off by putting you in competition with third parties and having lots of different options. And they wish so badly that they had not done that. I'm telling you. And they know that this is why they have a stalemate with you is because they put you in competition. They know that this is why your wall is up. They know that this is why you're in chaos and competition right now. And your wall is up is because they kept, they got other options on the table to commit to. They got, they was out here getting attention from other people. And this is why you are keeping it. You closed off. You're not giving any money. You're not accepting love offers. You're not doing none of that. But this one person does want to come towards you and say, hey, I, I hope that you'll still look out for me. I hope that you'll still extend mercy. I still want this with you, Gemini. I want to partner with you. Now, this person wants to come in as a page of wands, even though everything has dried up between y'all due to them not having any self-control and sabotaging the connection. And now that's made you very sad. They're still very optimistic, even though they have not taken a single step forward. See, a page of wands has not, uh, they're optimistic, and they're very creative and very adventurous, but they have not got nothing off the ground. They just got an idea that, yay, I could do it, but you ain't actually put in the action to do it. So somebody has not put in the action to turn this around, but they're they're trying to be optimistic about it. So with the three of cups, though, they are said that y'all are no longer in partnership. I got to cover up the boobies. She got pasties with, it's like pasties right on the nipples with like hanging chain things. This looks so crazy. <laughs> Me and these damn cars. But yeah, so somebody here wants to, um, they're very sad that y'all are not in partnership and fellowship and that y'all not friends right now. But they know it's due to them um, sabotaging the connection. Yeah, I'm telling you, they, they know. They know that this is why they're at a stalemate. They know that this is why things came to an end. This is why the Ace of Cups is in reverse. That It was all these Third parties, chaos competition. This is why the love between y'all has dried up. They know it's because they was in their nine of wands energy. They was out here being a sexy charmer. They was out here 
fucking around somebody who's in that high sex energy. So they know because they was thinking with their wand, this is why y'all not friends. This is why the cup has dried up. They know what they did wrong, but this is also why they want to communicate and tell you they don't want this to be over. They want to come in and tell you that they don't want this to be over. They want to apologize. So Gemini, are you going to allow this person to come back and apologize to you? I doesn't look like it because this person was slow to grow. And then with the magician, it was like never going to meet your goal. You feel like, yeah, the relationship was slow to grow. Was slow to grow with the magician reverse. Never met your goals. Wasn't happening. Eight of Pentacles. It wasn't working. And then with the Ace of Swords, this is just one big old lie. The person lied to you. It was just one big ass lie that never needs to be resurrected again. King of Cups. And you ain't got no more emotion to pour out towards it. What? So ever. Let's see what it says at the top of the deck. Top of the deck, it's like what you couldn't see was that you was going to actually have to head into a new direction because somebody was going to be on that wand energy. Out here looking like they was looking for the next best thing and that ain't caused you all kinds of unhappiness and you mean what you say. You're not giving them no love. King of Cups and the Queen of, the Queen of Cups and it was, it was like you had no love. And now it's clarifying again. You have no love to give to this situation. This person made you very, very, very unhappy by being in a wand's energy. So it's like now you want to head in a new direction, Gemini, because this person sabotaged the connection. They just could not pull their asses together. Oh, Lord. So now you out here, Gemini, want to experience some good luck. After feeling like you was all trapped in stuff in your head, dealing with somebody who was a deceiver. So now you want to get things uh, with the queen of swords. You felt like you was with somebody who deceived you, did you all kinds of dirty and wrong. But now you're at a place now where you're trying to look at the truth of the matter and find balance for yourself. And the way that you find balance is that you don't want to accept this person's pinnacle. You don't want it. You don't even want it. So, yeah, anything now they might like talking about, oh, well, I want equal give and take with you, Gemini. I want, you know, the four of wands upright. I want to marry you. I want a stability with you. I want to come in and share loving kindness with you without any ill intent. And you know what you're saying, Gemini? I'm the king of pentacles in reverse. I'm doing me. I'm worried about me and nobody else. There will not be a new start. Full reverse. And that's the message you're sending. There's not going to be a new start. I've healed myself. Five of cups reverse. I'm leaving you out in the cold. I do not want a partnership with you because I think that this shit would just go back to being out of control. You don't even want it. You don't even think that this person is emotionally available. Mm -mm. You don't see them as emotionally available. And it doesn't take a lot of uh, you replaying this over and over again in your life. I mean, in your life, in your mind. You don't have to keep replaying this over and over again in your mind because this person then just showed up as the page of cups reverse. Uh, so, so you feel like this was one-sided. They're emotionally unavailable. Page of pentacles, they ain't got no money. Temperance, things are going to be out of balance. So this is not your ten of cups. This is not the family dynamic that you wish for yourself. And so you quickly are using your intuition and you feel like this person might be coming towards you really quickly, trying to be like some sort of criminal mastermind, trying to come up with a means to an end to get you to come back with a chariot reverse, even after being manipulative. All because they see with you Ten of Pentacles. So you don't even feel like this person is returning for the right reasons. So with their reverse, they want to though. They they don't got no clear plan, but they don't. They just know they don't want to be juggling with you. They really want to go towards a place of peace, even though love between y'all will still grow real slow with the Knight of Pentacles. But you're like, I still don't want it. Still don't want it. Seven of Swords upright. This person wants to reverse the tower. They want you to help them relieve burdens. You out here, they want you to return because you out here looking like you're manifesting and you look good. Some of y'all are out here looking like queens of wands. Y'all sexy, confident, like you didn't went through some sort of transformation. So this is why this person wants to come back. But Gemini, it's looking like you like, mm -mm. it's a no-go, baby. No-go. You sabotage this by having third parties. And it, this person looked like they had a lot of options. And it looked like you didn't know nothing about them. Nothing about these options. Well, when somebody got you in chaos and conflict with third parties you didn't even know about, I mean, I don't know what they thought you were supposed to have, some sort of hidden mercy. But let's get some more information. We're going to go into the Amara 
uh, love oracle cards. And then we're going to get some hidden food cards and then your money message. Spirit team, uh, can I please get some uh, love oracle cards? Amara love oracle cards for Gemini and their situation. You felt like with this person, this was true love. You thought you had an honest connection based on honesty. You even thought, man, you thought that this was your person. Gemini, you thought that this was true love, if this was destiny, that this was meant to be. You felt very lucky to be with this person. Damn. But you actually end up having to stop yourself. You see that big hand? Like, stop. You feel like this person, it says courting man. That this man, while looking very professional, you thought that this person that was courting you was your soulmate. And this is why you thought that you had a great relationship. You thought the person that was courting you was destined for you. You Y'all thought that this was y'all's person for real, for real. With soulmate and courting man. But something went wrong here because now karma is out here. New love. There was an unknown person. And somebody went for somebody younger. Either younger male or younger female. They went towards somebody who is younger, youthful, may have brown hair. Yeah, somebody, you found out somebody had some, some other unknown person that they went towards and that was useful. Somebody they may have had a family with. So maybe somebody went back to a uh, baby daddy, baby mama. Okay, and so now you feel like you have to withhold from this uh, person that's your soulmate. And now you feel like there's limited potential with this person. So you feel like with karma, you looking for new opportunities. So what did you decide to do? Work. Work. You decided to go work. Yeah, you feel like some of y'all, um, there's a mature woman. Somebody, a mature woman is out here. Triangle is out here. Crowded relationship. Fair male. Somebody can be lighter with blonde hair. Somebody, a mature woman with darker hair. Somebody feels like, yeah, you have to withhold yourself because there was a lot of wealth and money and finances that you thought you was going to have with your soulmate, but not so. This person, while they're, they might be experiencing karma due to them trying to have uh, an open relationship with no commitment, casual um, openness. So, yeah, so you're giving, you're giving this person a cold shoulder, the Ice King. It could be somebody... That is of darker skin. You're being the ice king towards somebody that's of darker um, complexion due to them not seeing you as a true gem. Yeah, this is somebody you dated in a past life. So you probably was a soulmate for this person. At the top of the deck, they might be dating a brunette female. This has took a lot of y'all into a spiritual path. It said somehow expanded your soul. But yeah, this person really likes going after young, young ones. They like to have, they like to go after new opportunities. They like to be the dating queen. They want to be doted on. They want everybody to give to them. Again, somebody's giving here lots of attention. So somebody likes lots of attention and lots of opportunities with others. So this didn't do nothing but confirm the uh, tarot spread. <clears throat> Let's get some messages from your person. Spirit team, can I please get some messages from Gemini's person to Gemini? What does Gemini's person want to say to Gemini? What does Gemini's person want to say to Gemini? Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get a good, a good mix. What does Gemini's person want to say to Gemini? This person, Gemini, wants to say to you, five cards, spirit. What does this person want to say to Gemini? They feel like, I can't do this. I'm always comparing you to others. I still feel the pain. I am in a committed relationship. So, Gemini, this person left you, and now they're in a committed relationship 
but they are not financially stable. They're in a committed relationship. They still feel the pain of how things end between y'all and they feel like they can't do this. They would like to make amends. Gemini, how do you feel about this person? Gemini, how do you feel about this person? How does Gemini feel about this person? You feel like you didn't, this person did not see how much pain they caused you. You didn't see my tears. You wonder, will they ever be able to make things right? You are waiting very patiently. Um, you know, you, this person did not know how bad you really wanted them and how much you looked at them for inspiration. Like maybe you really cared about this person. I didn't mean for that many cards to come out. It says, I see life differently. This experience caused you to see life differently. You used to think that you could be yourself with them, Gemini. Oh, come on, Tasha. <laughs> the car with my nails. You used to think that you wanted this person back, right? It says, I want you back. You, you may have wanted this person back at some point, but you know, somebody let you down. It says, you let me down. So Gemini, you feel like this person let you down. You did want them back at first because you could be yourself, but now you see things just differently. They let you down. Somebody watches your social media. Somebody has trouble with intimacy. If they got a lot of third parties, they do got problems with social, with uh, intimacy. Somebody likes to hide their feelings. They don't know what comes next. They can't be with you. Gemini, you tell them I can't be with you. You can't. Even though you used to feel like you could not get enough of this person, that somebody's daydreaming about a life with you, but the only reason they're day daydreaming is because they need security because somebody's not financially secure. So if they came back, it would just be to use you for your money and your stability. That's not love. That's not love. Say it. I never understand it, but... Especially, like, to me, this is sad because this was a soulmate thing. That's sad. I don't know. I don't think people be getting it. Sometimes people just do too damn much. I don't understand it. Shoot, if y'all was watching me the other day, I had just said doing one of my collectors, my, my twin flame did too damn much. Just did too and then thought I wasn't going to know. I know stuff you don't even, that person don't even know I know. I know. I know about every little dark little secret. I know. I already know. Just did too much. And now it'll never be the same. <laughs> it be like that. It be like that. But I already know how that go. Because that person don't even take no personal responsibility. Uh, such, such, make, such, such did this. It was their idea. They did it. They did it. I already know what I already know how this shit gonna go. I already know. Three cards. And some of y'all know too. Y'all are manifesting. Did y'all start off? No, y'all didn't start off with manifesting. But y'all are in the y'all. This is a good time, Gemini. You have all the tools you need to increase your income. You have good fortune coming to you, Gemini. An opportunity is getting ready to come towards you where you can showcase whatever your talent is. If it's art, hair, nails, whatever. I'm just naming those because those are the first things popped in my head. Regardless of what your thing is, knitting, I don't care what it is. Uh, social media, it might not be. Could be you could sing. I don't know. Whatever your special thing is, you're get, your talents is getting ready to be showcased and it's going to make you some money. Okay? Unfulfilled. A lot of y'all was in careers that you were unfulfilled in. Um, you might be attached to a job that no longer is serving you. So if you're unhappy about your income or it, due to, don't be afraid to make changes, Gemini. Okay. Explore your wants and your needs and consider a change. Okay. Don't be on your low. You only live once. Go out here and pay your need, get your needs first. Then you see what you got left to take care of your wants, but always pay your car payment. You got to have a roof over your head. I should not have to tell adults this, but sometimes there are some adults that, 
They feel like, I can die tomorrow, so I'm going to go spend this money and have fun. I'm going to go to this trip in Florida. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. And then they come back, and now they couch surfing. Pay your rent first. Pay your car payment first. Pay your insurance. Pay your bills. Get your food. <laughs> and then go have fun. I shouldn't have to tell y'all that, but some people don't know. Easy does it. Slow and steady will win the race. Gemini, don't be in a rush. This is not a good time to rush, so pay attention to every little detail. Be careful not to get involved in any get-rich-quick scheme. So if anybody comes to you saying, hey, Gemini, Gemini, oh, I got this great opportunity. You should get in. No, Spirit don't even want you to do it. You focus on using your talents to make your money. You need to, as slow and steady, it's going to take you there. Because y'all not supposed to have something that's supposed to be up. And gone like that. So your stuff might take a little long to develop because you're supposed to have staying power. And that's it, Gemini. That's all I have for you. I'm like, thank y'all for joining me. I'm sorry somebody did not value the love that you gave them. Sounds like y'all are some pretty awesome people that, you know, your soulmate did not understand who was in their corner. They went for the next best thing, but... If y'all been watching me for the last couple of weeks, I've been picking up on somebody who was heavy in the Knight of Wands or King of Wands energy, and it has just been a mess. Y'all, please watch y'all's other placements. You might find some information you need there. Uh, this, res this It might not resonate for everybody, uh, but if you enjoyed the message, please hit the like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You'll know when I upload. The only time that it's not... You can't tell what time I'm going to upload is on Sunday and Monday. And, and speaking of which, if you want to cross watch all the way through Virgo is where I'm going today. I'm going to start doing six readings a day because I don't like when I go back to work trying to do readings in the morning, spend time with my spirit team. It's just easier for me to do the collective readings in the morning before eight. That's the only time you can probably tell. Now, if I don't get it up before eight, it's because it did not finish uploading. But the readings are normally done. But upload times even today have been not that great. But it is Mercury Retrograde. So what do people expect from me? But you get me every day. I show up every day. I show up, Gemini. So y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> and join me during the week for the collective, y'all. Support your girl. Get my numbers up. I'm here. I'm here to stay. I ain't going nowhere. All right, y'all. On that note, bye, baby.